Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing Brew York's Took the Midnight Green Imperial Stout at 13%. This is the big boys. Uh, this is one <clears throat> that I got from Priest Town. I can't remember how much it cost me um, up there with expensive beers because it's 13%. Um, and it's Brew York. I really like Brew York. Um, there is some guff. I'll just quickly read it. Just a small town beer brewed for a lonely bar. Come make a journey to the dark, darker side of stout by taking the midnight grain going anywhere. We've brewed uh, this super dark and rich stout with plenty of midnight wheat, which imparts great colour without the high astringency that comes from other high roasted super dark grains want that stout super smooth don't stop believing this is all that right there okay so i didn't actually know what this was a joke on because i didn't read it but it's journeys don't um don't stop believing um that's why it's got a four out of five on a single on grating which is there um it's also got its little graph it's five well Full for malty and then almost full for mouthfeel, but that's about it. Slightly bitter, but it's not sweet or hoppy or fruity at all. I'm looking forward to it. Um, quick look at the can art. I don't know what that's meant to be. I'll just focus it. Um, I don't know what it's meant to be. There's a train, obviously, the American flag, the moon, uh, wheat, wheat field. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's meant to be. Is it a bald eagle? A duck? I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. I need a nice brew York glass. Not the pint one. I need the proper one. Something like this. Anyway, so. There we have it. So we've got ourselves a nice jet black beer with a nice dark red, almost purple colour at the bottom, around the bottom. Um, very small head, but from what I can get, it's tanned, very compact bubbles. It looks lovely. Um, let's get a smell, shall we? Let's see what we get. It's dark, bitter. Roasted malts. <clears throat> I don't know what this midnight wheat is. Was it midnight wheat? Yeah, midnight. I don't know what that's meant to smell like. It might be a taste. Roasted malts, dark chocolate, bit of licorice. Oh, it smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful of buzzing carp, shall we? Body is medium, carb is light. There is carb there, um, more than what I'm used to on stouts. Um, body is a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a nice thick beer, but it's not. It's sat right in the middle. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Wow, 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 wow. It's boozy. You can taste the booze. You can get it in the cheeks, on the tongue. It's one of them ones. If I didn't know better, I'd mistake it for a barrel age, you know. It's, it's that, that kind of flavour. Okay. Right. Roasted malts. Dark chocolate licorice whatever i sell on those it's there um that is surrounded by this booziness throughout right in the cheeks over the tongue a little bit on the throat but i've still got a bad throat so i can't really feel anything um but i, I think there's a bit on the throat <coughs> pardon me um this 
slightly bitter. No dry finish. That's that is gorgeous. Not much in the way of flavour, but it's an imperial stout. It's not chocolate stout or it's not anything fancy. It's just an imperial stout. And oh, it's a good one. 13% you can taste it. Don't you can taste that. That's definitely 13%. Um very, very, very good. Very nice. Not something to down on camera this quick. Um, or as quick as some people do, but I'm I'm not going. I'm not stupid. I want to enjoy this. This is one to enjoy. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to go away and enjoy it because I think it's really nice. Like I say, flavors. There's not a lot, but what there is, there is a massive amounts of. Very nice. Very dark. Bitter. If you like that kind of stuff, you're gonna like this. So. Brew Yorks took the Midnight Grain Imperial Stout out of 10. I'm going to give it another mouthful and I'll let you know. Verdict's in. That's a 9 out of 10. Very nice. The only thing that's not a 10 is because the body's not thick enough. But besides that, gorgeous. Taste is brilliant. It's lovely, lovely beer very very happy with this so if you've had this before please let me know let me know what you think if you like it if you don't if you've not had it i'll leave a link down below to brew york's website um where you can probably maybe get one i'm not sure i got mine from priest town here in preston um like i said i can't remember how much it cost um but i'm gonna guess it was about 657 pound uh. pardon me because it's 13 percent and they aren't cheap um it's so strong it's up the strength wise with Wanda Beyond's um, Wanda Beyond know what they're doing same with Vocation that's very much up there Brew York are very good with what they do and this is something that they can do very well um, Yeah. so if you've had it let me know, if you've not had it links uh, to where you can get it if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and I'll see you later